hello everyone jamie j is here welcome back to a brand new video where today we are back on the how to draw series where today i'll be teaching new people how to draw hair for both the boys and the girls for this tutorial i picked it out from the natsu video when i said earlier that i had drawn using lines drawn his hair using lines you can see the picture over here you can see his hair has some lines and i didn't really get to show you guys that part i thought i'd make this video and i promise to teach you people how to draw hair so without further ado let's get into the video so for this video i actually prepared some faces that you can be able to draw on so here's one of the faces and this is the males so we'll start off with the boys and we're gonna go with the girls this thing the takeaway from this from drawing hair is that the first thing that you have to identify is your origin point an origin point is that part that's marked X. I'll show you a small example of what an origin point is. Let's say I put my X over here. Now we already have, we've already identified the origin point is. This is where the hair is gonna shoot out for. Remember this tip, hair always has volume. So you can put these imaginary lines Now, since that is done, there's some dotted lines over here. I don't know whether you can see. As you can see, we have some dotted lines to show the volume of the hair. It doesn't have to be accurate. It just allows us to give an estimation. And this is an X. Now, this is the origin point. Now, what I'm going to do is that we'll simply come create all strands from this origin point. The funny, the fun thing is that the strands can go in any direction that you want. Now you can say it goes like this. You can say that one strand. You can say the next one goes up like that. Actually, it just goes down like that. what I meant by creating the origin the lines so now back here you can see that we have these lines now what do you do with these lines you start creating a thickness a thick layer of it a thick layer on top of those lines now what I'll do for example and start this first one that I actually created this one I do this and I try to cover up this one strand making it look like realistic hair now making it look like real hair at least So that's basically like a gist of how to draw the hair and can also put in some of that and do something like that. That all dependent on you. I mean just make it look that flat and just put in some lines like that. Just like 
like that, you've created hair. Now let's deal with the ponytail. The origin point will not be here at the front, if it's a ponytail. It will most likely be here at the back. The reason why is because this is where all the hair stands now. Instead of just coming out from this point, you can see that they both come out and come into this point. So they are both con they are all meeting up here. Maybe you can see it's here. Then I'd like to do this. This is just basically for me to see the where the hairline is. Since the point, most likely you just have a line that goes up to there. It's just basically true that the hair is being pulled back. These lines are actually just usually like all dependent on how you your character's hair is being pulled. The more the lines, the tighter it is. from this point and shoot out depending on the direction of the ponytail like that you can see that you have actually created a ponytail now let's go now to our female so now on the female it's basically like the same thing with the males we have a origin point now for this one you can also guess for me i think i just put the origin point somewhere over here And I create some volume because it has volume on the scalp dependent on the length. Just like that. Now I basically create some lines that flow in a certain direction. Simply, and so that's to thicken out the lines. Here and see what connection you create on this other side. So let's say I want the hair to have a forward origin.
Okay, so I can have an origin over here. The volume going up. All the way to the back of the head over here where this meets. So me for this one, I'm gonna throw it up, throw it down to this eye. Another one, go down. This go down. Now from there. I want to also have another origin point maybe so I can also drop another origin point back here yes you can actually have more than one origin point this one can be the one that actually collects this hairstyle Thought it was quite tough to actually do hair hair. You can basically just do this. You can just put the X, create some volume, dropping the lines anywhere that you want. I, I can also show you some examples from online of some drawings that are made using the origin, and I can show you how the origin points work. So in this drawing this drawing you can see that the origin point is let for this hairstyle is over here let me bring you guys closer it's over here and then the hairstyle goes like that like that like that also like that like that like that over here you can tell it may be over here some over here where it goes like that 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 over here it's clearly over here it goes like that like that like that like that and so on and so forth over here it's over here where it goes like that over here you can tell over here you can also tell the same over here you can also tell someone like maybe over here so it goes like that some volume it's trying to fit into the volume more than just hair strands this is also over here this one's actually over here so it's over here this one's over here this one's over here somewhere over here yeah over here somewhere it's me it's over here uh, actually this one has two there's this one and this one. no wait it's only has this one this one goes like that yeah this one over here another example is this one which you can see it's over here over here over here here this one has two this one has one this one has two. i can say it has two this one has one over here, two, one, and then the other one you can't even see. This one's over here. Here, over here and here. That's basically it. So I'm gonna be there at the top some. So what are the takeaways from this video? So the takers are the origin point is marked with an X. The origin can be placed anywhere whatsoever and can be more than one 
the lines can emerge from the origin point going in any direction of your choice. And lastly, don't be limited by reality. Proliferate your dreams from your imagination. Without all said and done, thank you so much for watching. If you, did, if you do have a suggestion for a tutorial that you actually want me to do, um, tell me in my comment section down below or tell me in, on Instagram. And if you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like and if you need the channel, subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more art tutorials. I post every Wednesday and Saturday, so stay tuned for that. And I We'll see you guys next time. Peace.